My biggest accomplishment would be climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. I went to Tanzania, Africa in January of, of 2010 and the goal was to summit. We did it in five and a half days. Four and a half those were hiking days. We had a rest day in there. My name is Jamie Brown. I have been training Erica for two and a half years. Uh, I think the determination and the uh, resolve with her uh, started way before um, her injury. Um, she was a very accomplished softball player through high school. She did triathlons. Erica as a child was a very active child. She was involved in gymnastics. She learned to ride a bike early, always be skinned up because she was always doing active things. The way I felt when the doctor told us that Erica would never walk again was that I felt helpless. I felt that as a father I wasn't able to protect her from something that even the doctors misdiagnosed at the beginning. And it, uh, of course, brought tears to my eyes that she would never walk again, and I wondered what her outlook on life would be, what the opportunities would be for her. I was diagnosed with cavernous hemangioma. So it's kind of like, since I was born, I've had a small clump of tangled blood vessels in my back. Just over time, the capillary walls just got weak and a microscopic drop of blood leaked into my spinal cord. It's a one in five million chance that it will leak and I won the lottery on that. I think I get my determination and inspiration from other racers in, in wheelchairs. Probably from my competitiveness, from the determination of wanting to, you know, be up there at the top and um, winning. A moment that stands out for me in the last few years with Erica's challenge is when she climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Who would have thought that somebody in a wheelchair could, could actually have a team that would help her do that? The best thing about Erica is uh, she's never in a bad mood. Um, she's uplifting in any room that she comes into. She is uh, definitely takes the thunder and uh, makes everyone smile. My name is Mark Sortino, and I've been coaching Erica for about five months now. Well, Erica's determination uh, is pretty strong, and I would imagine she uh, she probably gets it because she's very competitive. Uh, she strives for excellence, and she enjoys seeing how far she can push herself uh, to achieve her goals. I certainly believe that she's just started to see truly what her potential can be. I think with uh, a lot of focused uh, training and with her determination uh, really she can be uh, one of the best if not the best uh, female hand cyclist and paratriathletes in the world. My training schedule consists of on a weekly basis I do yoga twice a week and I work out with a trainer at the gym also twice a week and just out on the trails on Thursday with Dale West and Sandy. The future holds for Erica unlimited possibilities. We believe she will walk again. She believes she will walk again. And we have no idea what the scientific technology that is de being developed at this time or daily, what that holds for Erica. We believe very positively that she's, it's just unlimited what her future is.